Samantha Siatek. So who are you? Maya. Yeah. Maya, so you work at the supercomputer of uh, Fujitsu. Yes, supercomputer marketing. So Fujitsu is making a supercomputer, is that what happens? Yes. Actually, we making it together with... Okay, do you know about Key Computer? So, uh, you just told me about it. So yeah, like yeah. A, is it famous? It used to be number one in 2011, twice in a row. But now it's number four. But now we are trying to use this machine system and try to have some kind of result so, coming uh, out of it. So this is what's inside? Yes, Spark this... 64 CPU. So this is Spark inside. 64, uh, does that mean uh, Fujitsu is making the CPU? Yes, yes, exactly. So it's a Spark 64, it's not x86, it's not Intel? No, no, no. It's, um, so how many of these are there in a supercomputer? Uh, 88,000. In this K computer, we use 88,000 CPUs. 88,000, so how big is this? It's like 10 petaflops supercomputer. How, it's a big how much machine. space does it take? It's about 50 meter, 50 meter, and 864 racks. And this is in Japan? Yes, in, in Kobe. In Kobe? Yes. How much power does it use? Power. It's a huge power. It's like 3,000 houses or something. It's a huge power we yeah. use. And Especially for the benchmark. Each of them look? Each of, the... each of them look like this. Yeah. But this is kind of like... In two, we made this in 2011, 2012. Yeah. And then we made another one in 2011. Enhance the technology here. Architecture. We use this architecture for this one. And this is like double times, like twice as fast as this supercomputer, each rack. Okay. So, so where, where do you install this? It's not yet installed and in you didn't make a supercomputer with it? No, we already made it. And like, for example, like Tokyo University and Taiwan Meteorological Office already have machine with this, system with this. Taiwan? Yes, Taiwan. And uh, what is this one? This is the one we are actually making. We only have prototype for this one yet. And we're trying to announce, make announcement next year, beginning of the next year. And we are trying to go for extra scale, 1,000 petaflops. But we're still on the process of doing it. Nice. So, um, who's paying for this? Actually, this one, Fujitsu yeah. and the government is paying for this. It's a governmental project? Yes, government uh, project. And that one? This one, no, this one is just commercial supercomputer. And yeah. this one is also commercial supercomputer, but this one is going to be with government too, also. Nice, so okay. why, what is it going to be used for? What is it used for? What, what, what's useful about a supercomputer? For example, for like to drug development and also like tsunami, like to like Analysis? avoid tsunami yeah. and earthquake. Prevention of tsunami. Try to calculate how the earthquake yeah, happened? Yeah, something like that. Like, try to know, prevent the. So, we cannot uh, prevent tsunami. Mitigation, yeah, nanotechnology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. nanotechnology. And also manufacturing, like, for example, car manufacturing. Instead of using many, many cars to crash it, yeah. we simulate them. And then we don't have to actually crash so many cars. We can use simulation instead of actually crashing the car. They will not cost as much as it's supposed to cost. Okay. Space science. Space science. What specifically example, is happening here? For example, space. you know dark matter? Yeah. Space dark matter. We cannot see anything. We don't know anything. Unless you use supercomputer, we cannot identify or anything about super, I mean space. So uh, it's been used a lot for this? Which one is being used for the most right now? Is it still in testing or is it actually using actually, a lot no. of it? This part. Life science, which yes. is what? Which is drug dis development. So, That's the part uh, we're trying to use the most. Trying to find uh, cures for cancer and yes. Uh, yes. Alzheimer's maybe or something Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Some cancer is the one we really want to kill. Life science and many man manufacturers too. Okay. And also tsunami. Tsunami, yeah, yeah. And there's lots of earthquakes here. Yeah, a lot of earthquakes which made people really, really scared and tsunami. Yeah. That's why we 
started to focus on this one too a lot. And the volcano. Is volcano, scary yes, too. yes, exactly. Yeah. Volcano. We have but, everything, scary yeah. stuff. So. But no, like uh, very dangerous animals. No. And you don't need to study that in supercomputer. Maybe, maybe yeah. we not focusing that because we not afraid of animals. Yeah. Because they in cage. Yeah. Like the alligator, that's not need. It's fine. How about uh, information and communication? What does yeah. it? What does that mean? It's just the like big data stuff. It's not really like a, it's not a focus focus. Okay. It's just environment, like uh, calculating global warming maybe? Or yeah, 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 yeah. Some, yeah. yeah. And also like, you know, meteorological office wants yeah. to use supercomputer to like prevent, I know, try to know whether it's going to rain or not or something like that. Energy? Energy. What is that about? Uh, we working on it right now, like trying to find, it's kind of linked to this, but trying to find some new energy source by using supercomputer. So uh, the researchers yes. just plug in their software in the supercomputer and click a button and it starts using supercomputer. No, actually they have to make their own applications and they have to know how to use the application and then they can use K computer or whatever the supercomputer. And it's they nothing. use, uh, for example, they use uh, five hours or they use two hours and then there's a next project coming in and then the, you know, it yeah, just yeah. runs all day, K all night. K, K computer is like that. You have to, like, it's all scheduled, like one day, two days or whatever. It's all scheduled. So what is the difference between a grid of a lot of PCs and a supercomputer? Why is it so important to have everything in one place? Everything in one place? Yeah. So. The main reason to have a supercomputer is to have everything being computed in one building instead of, I don't know, using people's computers at home or and many of them in a grid. Well, uh, I mean, little, okay, for example, just using a little system, the yeah. output, the result you can get is really limited. Yeah. But for example, if you use, if you can use 10 petaflop system, yeah. everything, the calculation it took like one year will be able to, you can, finish it in one day, maybe, or right. something like that. All right, and uh, uh, the Spark 64 is something that Fujitsu is especially doing? Nobody else is doing exactly that, or? Right now, you know, Spark 64 used to be some microsystem made oh, yeah. Spark, and Oracle bought some microsystems, and now it is using Spark 64. I don't think, there might be something else, but for now, I don't know. Yeah. So we it's number that. four? Number four biggest? Right and now, number four. Who's number one, two, three? Number one is China. Number two is Prey in America. Number three is IBM in America. Number four is us. Number one I mean, is China? K, K. Yeah, How yeah. is China? What is they doing? Which, which CPU system are they using and stuff? They're, They're using a lot of like GPU, um, G GPU stuff maybe? Yeah, GPU. A lot of GPU. And how, how high are they? Are they uh, above this? Yes, about this, 33 uh, or something. Not I, not I think about, it, near that. No, no, I think it was about 33.8, but please check yeah. that later. We'll if check. You want. But you might be number one again. we trying to be number one again. Okay, thanks okay. for that. And who else in Japan is working on this kind of stuff? Fujitsu is number one in supercomputer, basically. NEC is also trying to do something, too. You're not, you don't work with them? No. That stuff. Okay. And also, Hitachi is also doing something else. Okay. 